Good morning, everyone. How are you today? I hope you're doing fine. In our UOI lessons this week, we are going to review living things and non-living things. And you are going to be to you are going to be introduced to the characteristics of living and non-living things and to the needs of living and non-living things. First of all, let's start with reviewing what living things are and what non-living things are. Here are on the left side, we have the living things. Living things can be humans, can be animals, and can be plants. Non-living things are things that don't breathe, don't move, don't grow. A tiger is an example of a living thing. A pencil is an example of non-living thing. Let's begin by talking about the characteristics of living and non-living things. What do we mean by the word characteristics? It is the description for living things and non-living things. How do we describe living things? Living things eat. Living things breathe. Living things grow. And living things reproduce. What do we mean by the word reproduce? That they can make babies. Now, let's move to non-living things. Do non-living things eat? No, they don't. Do they breathe? No, they don't. Do they grow? No. Have you ever seen a stone that grows? No. Do they reproduce? Do they make babies? No. So these are the characteristics between living things and non-living things. And now let's talk about the needs of living things. Let's take a look at the picture here. What's this? This is water. Living things need water in order to stay alive and grow. Living things need food in order to stay alive and grow. Living things need shelter. What do we mean by shelter? A home in order to keep themselves away from the heat of the sun and from the cold of rain and the cold weather. They also need air in order to breathe. So these are the needs of living things. So today we learned the difference between the characteristics and needs of living things and non-living things.